Hi divas, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite diva here, back at again with another video. As you guys just today's title, we are going to be jumping in to a full face of product using only one week's worth of PR. If you do not know what PR is, it is basically makeup that I get sent for free to show you guys, to test out, to play with, let brands know what I thought, let you guys know what I thought. Basically, it's just free marketing for brands. But, you know, girl, it works. Free makeup is free makeup, and I want it all. <laughs> you guys are have to see the struggle I went through in this video to achieve this full face again using only one week's worth of PR. I am super excited to jump in, but before we get in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you guys come back. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so going in first, I necessarily didn't get a primer this week, but I did get this confidence in a gel lotion from It Cosmetics. My grandma loves It Cosmetics. <laughs> And I kind of like it cosmetics too. They're kind of good. It smells like really nothing. Guys, look at my acne. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I'm calling all my lawyers. My mom. Actually, I'm just gonna call my mom. Okay, so my skin, it feels really nice. Honestly, it feels very hydrated. Like, my skin feels already like a baby's butt. I haven't even put it all over my face yet. I love mumbling. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This shit's sickening. Okay, A plus for this already. Wow, this feels good. Um, I don't usually apply primer or moisturizer to my forehead. Don't know why, I just don't, because I'm just that bitch, I guess. Let's move on to foundation. This is the new Confidence in a Foundation from It Cosmetics. Um, I'm not hearing the best things about this foundation, but I've been seeing people on IG use it quite often. This is a velvet matte finish, long wear, weightless, full coverage foundation, and it's called Confidence in a Foundation. It's really cute. It says, buff one to two pumps the foundation into clean skin in circular motions. Okay, baby. I'm gonna do exactly what she says. I'm gonna pull a Manny Emmy wig and use a foundation shade eight times darker than my actual skin tone. And just off of the bat, like this definitely feels really thick. So I'm expecting the most sickening coverage. And if she doesn't give it to me, she's already gonna be declined. <gasps> what? Okay, so it's darker when it comes out of the bottle. Okay, give me one moment okay so i just wiped that shade off that shade was 125 light beige and this is like the fourth or fifth shade and it was still too light for me so that's kind of sickening the shade range for this foundation is really nice so now i'm going in with light neutral 135 so i'm just dabbing this everywhere that was two pumps right there so hopefully oh crap this foundation still looks a little light i don't understand what's happening because this is like one of the darkest they sent me and like on my hand it looks way darker than on my face I literally had to wipe that one off as well my third try, but that's okay I can't blame it cosmetics for having good shade range I cannot believe I'm like the tenth shade in like that's honestly amazing because I am pretty fair now Finally, hopefully my shade match is medium nude. I've never been in the medium spectrum. So this is interesting Okay, work! Finally! Okay, she's got coverage. Oh, wow. Right down my neck. So actually, you're really gonna match, you guys. I love it. I think my lights make me look fairer than what I really am. So that's probably why they sent me the really light shades. But I am actually in the medium section. If you guys didn't know, I am Native American. I got that nice undertone. So this works well. And I also have a spray tan on. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> With my forehead, I literally just like slap it on in the middle and that's really it. Like I don't really just like put foundation everywhere because my forehead is so tan though. I am just gonna briefly sweep it everywhere as well. And I'm just kind of bouncing a beauty blender over areas that I felt like got a little bit of brush marks, which is just right here. That brush was actually really nice. I'm just so anal that I have to go over it with the beauty blender as well. You guys know that the A Cosmetics CC Cream is my absolute favorite and this looks amazing. Like, really, really good. I love it so far. Okay, so unfortunately, I didn't get concealer this week, but I am be going in with the Born This Way from Too Faced because they did launch more shades of this. I didn't get them in the mail, but just because there's new shades coming, I thought maybe I would just throw it in the routine, you know? So I'm just going to take a little bit of this because the foundation did do an amazing job. Unfortunately, I didn't receive a new powder, so I'm going to be using this Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. I love this so much. 
Um, and so I'm using that off camera and I will be right back. Okay, so now that we are in nice matte, full coverage, ready for the glam, ready for the beats, I'm gonna be going with the new Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer that I got in the mail. That is a tongue twister. I haven't even seen this yet. <gasps> Bitch, period. I'm mean, gonna look at it, it's like a mirror. Ooh, okay. Shade is cute. It looks a little orangey. Let's see how it, let's see how it goes. This is in the shade Private Island. I'm gonna go in with this dome brush, um, just because I feel like it just looks cute going into the little compact. And starting back here, I only want a little bit of warmth. Ooh, it's actually really pretty. It isn't as pigmented as I would like, but I am in love with this color, you guys. Wow. Like, wow, it's actually really pretty. Wow, thanks, Rihanna. Warm up this triple chin. A little bit on the nose. And she is bronzed. I live. Come on, girl. Work. Now that we're a little bit bronzed, very much like Diva just left the Dominican Republic, got her tan on. Guys, I went to Punta Cana and it was sickening. Time for some contour. I'm gonna go in with this Cheek Leaders Bronze Squad and go in with just the hula. Right here. Just, you know, normal hula, but we got this in PR this week, so. We're just gonna contour with some hula. I'm just kind of making a stripe under my face and then going back in with our bronzer brush and just blending it out. Just so everything's pretty seamless. I'm gonna kind of bring it over to the cheeks like this as well. Just so we have that nice bronze look. I was watching Jaclyn Hill's like bronze goddess tutorial. Would you guys like me to do something like that? I feel like I'm the queen of IG bronze and I would love to take my tips and tricks onto YouTube. I'm gonna take a little bit more hula and just do it right here at the back. Kind of like where my hair is. This is really gonna give us the dimension. Make us look sickening, you know? Guys, I don't know what's with me and tongue popping recently. <gasps> Girl, what the fuck is the tea? Benefit you that girl. You been that girl. Okay, so I snatched that nose off camera. Just a light snatch, nothing too serious. I did bake right here um, in that bronze goddess tutorial I was just telling you guys about. I will be explaining my whole bronzy like bake that I do. But now it is time for my favorite part of makeup. Blush. Oh my god, you guys, I love blush so much. This is NARS Orgasm, and the only reason why I got this in PR is because this is the XL version, girl. I don't know about you, but I love everything. XL. This blush is iconic, and that's on period. So I'm just gonna be applying this to one of the apples in my cheeks. It is kind of a glowy blush. So if you aren't really a glowy blush type of girl, this might not be for you, but it's not really glittery. It's just like, has a little bit of a sheen. So it kind of goes with your highlighter like perfectly. So I'm just applying this layer right here. I just want a little bit of the flushy look. But I want my under eyes to be pretty highlighted today. Guys, I am so sorry if you can hear the construction workers in the back. My favorite, I think, is Deep Throat, which is also one of my favorite activities. But this one's cute too. It does have a little bit more sheen than Deep Throat. So if you still like the color, I would say Deep Throat. It's basically the same as that color. And this blush goes with any skin tone. It's honestly incredible. Now, you guys, it is time for highlight. I have the new MAC Dazzle Highlights. Yeah, Dazzle highlights in these, you guys. Holy schnazzles, bitch. I just made that up. Schnazzles. This is gonna make me look diva delicious, and I'm gonna put it diva on my face right diva now. Oh my god, guys. This is in the shade Dazzle Pink. I hope it's not too dark. Oh my god. Wow, it just looks like glitter on my cheek. It is so sickening. Wow. So gorgeous. Let's put Dazzle Gold on the other side of my face. This one's giving me very Fenty. Let's see. <gasps> wow. You guys, my camera is not doing justice. It's like little glitter flecks all over my face. Not all over my face, but like right here. It is so pretty, you guys. I'm putting some of the gold on my nose. On my cupid's bow. And of course on my chin. Wow, the pink is my favorite, I think. They're honestly not giving me much of a cast. Um, actually, the gold one's not giving me a cast at all. The pink one's just a very slight cast. Can you guys see that cast right there? Just very little. Kind of just looks like my blush, so I'm honestly living. Da -da, we're almost done. 
Oh crap, you guys. I meant to use the highlighter in here because I swatched it and it was so sickening. Cookie. Let's actually put that on my nose because, guys, this little pack is so incredible. Oh! Okay. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it so much. Wow. Let's place some cookie under my forehead. Oh my god, benefits. That is sickening. If you're light, medium skin tone, this would be amazing for you because they have the new Hula Caramel. They have the original Hula. They have Coralista, which is a gorgeous coral color. This on medium skin tones. Bitch, is over, period, for everyone. Every girl, dead bodies everywhere. No survivors. Gold Rush would be also gorgeous on you. So I would say this definitely for light to medium, but, like, on the medium light side. They do have, I think, two other palettes or one more that has Hula Caramel and then the new Hula Toasted. <laughs> and, it, and also Cookie, you guys. This is everything. Wow. Guys, I so forgot that I got the new Game of Thrones from Urban Decay. The palette is cute. Honestly, I wasn't going to show it to you guys because it's so not Game of Thrones. I don't know who at Urban Decay watched the Game of Thrones, but clearly they didn't watch it enough because this is not the color scheme I was expecting. Okay, guys, I'm going to try and make something work with this palette. Maybe we'll incorporate some of the mattes from the Natural Lust from Too Faced as well. Let me zoom you guys in, get my eyes primed, and let's get started. Y'all, look how fucked up my lash line is. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at my eyes. Are they cute? Ooh. Okay, now going into this basic as fuck palette, Urban Decay Willy Bitch. Oh, I'm so upset with this color scheme, girl. We're gonna go in with Nimra. Nimra? I'm just gonna be sweeping this into my crease. We're gonna kind of do a neutralish eye today, but I am gonna use pops of colors. Now I'm just gonna be taking a different brush and just blending that out. Kind of wanna go for a little bit more of a rounded look today. Guys, I really get so much freaking makeup in PR. Like, the fact that I can do a full face in one week worth of PR, like, that is kind of crazy. <laughs> like, that's actually insane. So I said this shade was going to be a little bit rounded, but um, I lied. It got winged out just because I feel like when you wing out your eyeshadow like this, it just makes you look diva delicious. You know what I mean? So I live. I love that. So pretty. Now I'm going to be taking the shade Stormborn and just applying this on my lid with my finger. Ooh, you guys, this shade is so pretty. I'm so glad I went in with this shade. Just going to start patting the pigment into my eye. And then I'm going to be blending out those edges. Because I'm actually now going to be taking this blending brush and the shade Bend the Knee. And just applying this in my crease, actually just patting motions. Now I'm just taking the shade Lannister Red and just barely, very softly tapping this on my outer corner. I want this to be very faded and muted. Now you guys, I'm just be taking this White Walker shade and applying this just right here, kind of above where I put my inner corner highlight. If you guys haven't noticed, we are going for Dimension, girl. Dimension the house, some Diva Dimension. So, I'm just going to be applying this into like a circular moon shape. And this is going to make my eyelid look way bigger. I'm going to go in with the shade King's Landing right here. It's a beautiful like gold, very like bright gold actually. And we're just going to be popping this into the inner corner. I can already tell that this shade is very powdery. So, I'm going to spray with some Morphe spray and applying this into the inner corner. Wow. That shade is stunning. So pretty, you guys. Wow, I'm shook. Now I'm be taking the new Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection eyeliner in the shade The Night King, you guys. This is super pretty. It's in beautiful cobalt blue. And I'm just going to be applying this into the waterline for a pop of color. Ooh, so pretty. But I'm going to keep on the outer edge. Very, like, we're just sad from listening to too much Billie Eyelash music, you know? Okay, so I applied some liner and some mascara off camera. You guys, I applied a lot of mascara. But we did receive a new lash this week from Miss Lily Lashes. This is in the style prom. Yes, the prom lash. 
You guys, this is honestly perfect for prom. Very wispy, very flared. It's gonna give you a very cat eye look. So I'm gonna apply these off camera and then I'll be right back to finish off this video with a lip. Okay guys, so lashes are on. They are stunning. This is perfect for prom. Baby, link down below, use code COLESWORLD. I'm not telling you to do it, but if you're feeling like that diva, that supportive diva, you wanna support my channel, use that code. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna be going in with my lips and I'm gonna be using one of the new Morphe lip kits. Um, in the shade Nude Pink. This one includes a gloss, the shade Wifey in the lipsticks, and the liner in Backseat Love. Yes. We're gonna go in with this pencil, the liner lips. You guys, Morphe pencils are so good. They glide on so easy, and they're $3. Like, girl, $3? Talk about saving your diva dollars. Fuck Mac. Moving on to the shade Wifey. I love this shade, you guys. I'm just gonna be patting this in my lip. I'm not really gonna be swiping it because I only want a little bit of the color. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna be going in with this Patrick Ta Beauty Lip Shine in the shade She's Expensive. You guys, Patrick Ta is a sickening makeup artist. He is so sweet. This packaging is everything. And he does so many celebrities, so I'm so excited to try out this gloss. Oh, it smells really good. It smells exactly like the So Juicy glosses from ColourPop. <gasps> oh, that's really pretty, guys. Very shimmery and very glittery. A little trick is to swipe your wand on your hand so you don't get the extra lipstick product into the gloss. We do not want that. Because then eventually your gloss would just like turn into like a nude gloss. <gasps> that is so pretty. Okay, Diva, so this is the finished look using only one week's worth of PR. I got this idea from just the amount of makeup I get. I am getting roughly 20 to 30 to 40 packages a week, you guys, which is insane. I donate so much. I send so much makeup back to my family. And I, of course, do my huge giveaways on IG. If you guys are not aware, I have giant giveaways on IG with my best friends, Jose and Zach. We actually just posted one, so make sure you guys click the link down below. Or follow me on IG at Cole's World. You guys, literally, it's over $3,000 worth of makeup. And we are so excited to pick you guys. So yeah, make sure you guys go enter. I had so much fun. I'm I'm honestly shook that I was able to basically make a full face using only one week's worth of PR. Like, holy crap. And I'm honestly obsessed with it. There's honestly, there's not one product on my face that I'm like mad at. The eyeshadow palette was good. I love the lashes. I feel like maybe this lipstick wasn't the right choice, but that's literally it. The Urban Decay collection honestly surprised me. It is very pretty. It is very everyday. I'm also in love with the Fenty bronzer, you guys. I feel like it is perfect for my skin tone. If you are fair, make sure you look very closely because I chose like the third or fourth shade from the light spectrum and it looks gorgeous on me. I actually am in love with it. So everything I, I use today definitely has a thumbs up from me. You guys definitely check these products out. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to give it a big old chub up leave me a comment down below and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel i would love to see you guys come back and i will see you divas in the next one bye everyone